What's up you guys and welcome back to another No Limit Drag Racing video. As you can see on screen here, we have the new Mustang. Now I've, I've been doing a lot of tuning with this car, trying to make it go really, really fast. And I'd say we've somewhat achieved that. Um, I got it to where it could run a pretty consistent 5.7 quarter mile. So what we're going to do right now, we are going to be taking this thing online and racing it against, you know, some online players and things like that and we're gonna see how it does although last night i was playing this and i was running like a five seven low five seven and mid track i don't know if you guys have experienced this but mid track the guy took off and just he i think he ran like a five three or or it was really really fast just man blew by me like nobody's business i don't know what was going on with that i don't know if it was like a glitch or or maybe he was hacking i have no idea but it was insane the car like took off mid track it, it was unbelievable so what we're going to do right now, we're, we're going to go ahead and change up the car a little bit because I think it's blue when we get it. So we need to, you know, spice things up a little bit. So we're going to go into customize right here. We're going to go to parts. We want to change our rims. Don't worry, you guys. We are going to get into some races very shortly. I'm just going to run. I'm not really going to go into like making a bunch of decals on the car or anything. We're mainly just going to change the color of it and throw some wheels on it things like that make it look a little more intimidating than it is right now you know kind of give it a drag racing look so right here we're gonna go ahead and get our hood scoop now i think what i'm gonna do um what do you guys prefer when you're choosing your hood scoops let me know down in the comments right now let's all kind of discuss this w what do you guys normally choose i think this looks pretty good right here but I think I'm going to go with a big cow induction hood. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see here. Right there. All right. We're just going to go with that simple. But, you know, it, it it says that we mean business. So let's go ahead and get our drag wing on here. All right. We're going to go ahead and go to our rims now. Let's see. We're going to do some good looking drag wheels. Let's see. I'm thinking. All right. As far as our rims go, what if we use those? I don't think I've ever used those as a drag wheel. We could use those, I guess. Might as well try something out a little different. And what about these? We're going to make these chrome right here. Okay, now I think that matches the rear wheels right there. Okay, yeah, so those are our drag wheels that we are going to be going with. They're actually looking really, really good. So let's go into our colors here. This is going to be the color of the car. All right, so I kind of went with almost like a purple blue kind of color with the car. It actually turned out pretty good. So now we're going to go through. I'm going to hurry up and click all this, and we're going to get into some racing. All right, so I kind of went through and finished everything up with our colors. I went ahead and threw the purple Cody 7.2 on the top of the car it kind of looks like as we change which direction we're looking at the car it kind of changes colors almost that that is kind of cool right there that looks pretty good so what we're going to do right now we're going to jump into a multiplayer race online now i have not taken this car online yet let's see have i even raced this car yet i don't think i have no look look at that you guys money earned with the car that must have been from tuning it that had to have been from tuning the car anyway yeah because i have not raced this anywhere let's see races won and races lost so we have done nothing so let's go ahead and jump into a multiplayer race right now. Let's make sure we don't get into a bracket race. All right, so here's our first $20,000 race right here. Let's see what happens. Now, if they're running a Mustang, it's going to be a little scary because those things are fast. You know, they just come out with the update yesterday. But, man, everybody's figuring out how to make these go really, really fast. Look at that. Did we just glitch out on a $20,000 race? We did. Look at that. Oh, man, we're going to have to back out. All right. I, hey, I like the look of that car right there. That looks so good. Well, I ended up just doing a $2,000 race because uh, I was not having any luck finding any $20,000 races. I did find a few $5,000, but as soon as I went to click, they went away because people are clicking those things so fast, man. There's so many people online. It's hard to get races sometimes. So let's go ahead and stage up here. We are going to be running the Mustang online for the very first time. Let's hope I can hit my shifts like I'm supposed to. Oh, he's got a pretty fast car. See, I was about right here last time, and a car took off and just blew around me, man. and ran like a really low 5.3. It, it was crazy. All right, here we go. We're going to get into another race real quick. Let's see. Okay, a $10,000 race. Is it going to let us have it? Yes, it is. Oh, man, those cars are fast right there, too. Okay, those cars are fast. Maybe we can, maybe we can make something happen with it, though. All right, here we go. Oh, we heated our tires up to 124. Man, we may lose traction off the line. I don't know. Maybe he's a little intimidated of the Mustang. Maybe we did a good job making it look scary. And uh, he's going to jump or something. Let's see. Oh, man. Nope. No need. He didn't need to jump. 
Oh, what did we run? Okay, it showed a 250. I know it's going to be a little slower. So a 5733 right there with the Mustang. So far, undefeated. So far, the car is undefeated. Can we do this? Can we go undefeated in the new S550 Mustang? All right, so we finally got another person to race right here. Um, it takes a lot clicking through and finding a good race, man. It does because they go so quick, like I said before. All right, 124 on the tires. Really wanted 125, but last time it didn't do too bad on a 124. So I'd say a 124, 125 range, and you'll be okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can we take out the Camaro? Those things are fast. Oh, man, we did. Man, we treed him very, very good. <laughs> we did good on the tree there. Let's see. Oh, 5725. What does he run in the Camaro? I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna do pretty good. Okay, I guess he still hasn't crossed the line. Who knows? But we got that win right there. Alright, we're gonna be racing the Hellcat now. Well, let's see what happens. Mustang versus Dodge. Ford versus Dodge. We'll say that, yes. Let's see what happens here. It's already be a good race. Oh man, the guy did a pretty good burnout there. Wait, why is he staging like that? Are you guys seeing this? Is this guy hacking? I'm not sure what's going on here. What is going on? Are you guys seeing this right now? What is going on? This guy's got... He's got to be hacking. There's no way. Watch him run like a 5-3. What just happened? I don't even know if I'm going to get to run now. He had to have been hacking. Like, what happened? He was staging, then he went above the line. Okay, I guess we can just red light and go. I wonder if this is still going to count as a win, though. Let's see. That was a 5-7 pass there for sure. Okay, so it did count as a win. I don't know what happened. I guess um, he... I don't know what he did. I don't know if he got any money or what, but it said we won. So, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but look right above where it says you. See that? Right above where it says, you know, you right there. Like that little corner, it says right lane. I feel like that was added in the update. Do you, have you guys noticed that before? I don't think I've noticed that before. I would have seen that. But yeah, it says right lane. I guess it shows the winner. So right lane or left lane. That's pretty cool. Man, I cannot believe it. That guy had to have been hacking. I don't know what he was doing. He like jumped past the line, but then was able to come back without red lighting after staging. That's crazy. I don't know how he did that, but that was that was weird. If you guys are having any trouble with any tuning and things like that, I'll kind of go into here. Let's see. Tune computer. I'm going to try to give you guys some tips that can really, really help out. Let's see. We're going to go into tune. We need a dyno this. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So we're going to run the dyno real quick. So any of you out there having any trouble, this is going to be for you. This should help a ton. Okay. So you run your dyno right there. Now I've talked about this before, but I kind of want to go over it one more time just in case anybody needs any help. So as you can see, the dots right here, see how they're all lined up going straight across so it's like that orange and pink color. So if you see that, it's like dots going all the way across. So what you want is those in a straight line. And each of those represent different RPM ranges. So it goes from 2,000 on up to 10,000. And you see the fuel is going to be the orange dot. And the timing is going to be the pink dot. So what you're going to do right here after making your run, you're going to kind of see where those dots wind up. Because they're not going to be a straight line. That's just what they're going to look like once the vehicle is tuned in that you know category. So if you go to tune computer right here and you go to fuel rate. So as you can see, all these are adjusted a little differently. They have to be adjusted a little bit different to make the dots, you know, line up perfectly. So say that little dot at 2000 RPMs was like way above. Um, so it was like way up here. So say that little dot was way up here and it wasn't just in the middle straight across. So what you want to do is adjust all these little numbers right here until your fuel rate and timing are just a straight line going across. So that's the best way to explain that. So if we go into boost here, we don't need to mess with any of that launch. So that's kind of a little quick rundown of, you know, tuning the computer. It keeps you from having to buy the perfect tune over and over. You can just do that. Another thing you can do real quick is go into dealership. And I think you can buy, let's see, let's go to modern and let's go over to, we'll just use the new Mustang as an example. So if you go here and if, I think if you buy the strip car, if you buy the strip car for $150,000, I think you can go ahead and get your tune. Like you don't have to go through tune anything. It's already on the car. So let's test this real quick. So we buy this 150,000. So we go ahead and buy that. And then we go over to tune right here. So we go here and we go to dyno. Let's see. I don't think we, we can run it. And then we'll kind of use this as a baseline for the car. And that thing made some power. Okay. So 1626 horsepower. But as you can see right there, you guys look, the tune and everything is already set. So it's got a perfect fuel rate and timing rate 
tune on the car so you don't have to do any of that so look at there you pay 150,000 you don't have to worry about you know wasting all your gold to spend on perfect tunes and all that so if you go back here and let's see computer fuel rate see it's already on there perfect tune is installed so that's really a good thing to do if you guys want to just skip out on all of that right there i think that's actually what i'm going to start doing that that actually works pretty good so here you go guys that's a little tip there and uh, i hope it really helps you guys out but anyway i'm gonna get out of here i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye guys